Okay, and welcome to my first basic, very basic setup on a set of Corsa in the Ferrari 458 GT2. I'm going to go through a quick track guide of this track. It's another new track that I've learned. I'm trying to get the tracks I don't know out of the way. So we're going through the gears, and we're going to go into the first corner, and we should be going flat out into in sixth gear pretty much, going into the braking zone where we're going to break just short of the 100 yard board. See there, we're going to break just short and slowly go down the gears, flipping the throttle into second gear, try and stay nice and tight into the kerb. Then hard on the throttle once you feel the traction's there. Into third, then back down to second early. And nice early into the kerb on the power. Then into third gear just on the entry to the bend. So you're flooring it straight out the corner and getting maximum um, speed from the corner. Now we're going to break down into third gear for this corner nice and early. And try and hold the left hand side so we get a nice entry into the next part of the corner. Then we're going into fourth gear and then we're going to ch chuck it back down to third gear and throw the car in as hard as we can. Hitting the kerb hard on the power and then into fourth gear fourth gear as we chuck it back through the corner now we're going to go wide and stay in fourth gear and then you really got to be feathering the throttle and being careful on the throttle until you feel the grips there then hard on the accelerator another tricky bend this into the curb early and then use as much of the track on the left as you can for maximum speed and braking just as the curb hits there and down into second gear nice and tight on the curb and then into third gear on the entry entry of the um, curb there and then hard on the power and breaking down into second gear again for this corner up here just as you hit the crest of the hill and staying nice and tight in on the kerb and then hard on the power into third gear flat out through these next corners now and then we want to be breaking just short of the white mark on this left hand up here we actually missed we we braked a little bit too late here and we we went, we went a bit wide we should have braked a little bit earlier because we've lost the entry to the corner i was really annoyed because i was on for a 217 here but as you can see there, we still managed to hold a reasonable exit speed through the corner. We would have been on for a 217.7, I think there, 217.8. We lost a good two 300s per second on there. So that's a lap complete, and that's a 2 minutes, eight, uh, 1 minute 48.120, I think that is, yeah. So there's a quick little um, lap for you to see. I mean, obviously, I've, I've only learnt this track over the last few days, um, well... Pretty much yesterday I learned that track. I'd done a race on it, I didn't have a clue, I was going everywhere in a career event. But um, I decided to learn it yesterday in the GT2 car. And um, what better car to learn it than the 458 GT2. So we're going to go through the very basic changes we've done on the setup now. As you can see, <coughs> for the race you want to have 28 in your fuel for the, for the 10 lap race. Um, you can go down to 27 probably, but I start on 28. For qualifying, put it on 7 or 6. I think seven is probably the best for qualifying. Um, brake bias 66 and area aero. I've got it on the default 24. It it feels nice on that drivetrain. Now these are all settings there, which are for um, no assists on at all. So the gears are done. I think I'd actually lower that sixth gear down to 185. I think I do it now anyway. I would actually lower that down to 185 because I don't think we we're as close as we could be to the limiter. I'd have to check it though, so have a little play with it and see what you think. But the um, 40 and 60 for the hour and the um, post, um, that feels really nice with no, no traction control on. Obviously, a little hint would be to make sure when the race starts, first lap, put, it, put your traction control to level 12, which is the weakest setting, and then after one lap's done, put it to off. So... Basic changes on here, not many. For the race, obviously, for tyres, make sure you put mediums on. For qualifying super soft, one lap. You have to be confident in doing one lap. If you're not, put soft tyres on. You should still be able to get close to that lap anyway. Um, very basic change. I think I only knocked it down. One on the front on the camera and optic one on the rear. <coughs> I didn't really want to go too far off at the moment. Ride height, we've lowered it down a bit from the default. And springs, I possibly may have lowered the rear. I can't really remember what I did on that bit. It looks like I might have lowered the rear. I'm not sure. Might be default. And the last section on dampers is default, as I'm not going into all this yet on um, setups. I'm just trying to keep things basic, get myself a basic setup for most of the tracks so I can um, run pretty confidently online. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave you a little um, replay from the TV cameras. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll be back with more soon. Thank you very much for watching.